so in my last video i talked about the motorola edge 20 and in this video i will be talking about the motorola edge 20 pro now as the name shows the s20 is a mid-range phone whereas the s20 pro is a flagship phone for motorola the s20 lineup will be launched in china on the 5th of august Today we got an official image of S20 Pro courtesy of Evan Blass and this image shows the design of the phone from the front, the back and the sides. And if you don't know the Motorola Edge 20 Pro is a successor of last year's Motorola Edge Plus. Design wise if you compare the Edge 20 and Edge 20 Pro then you won't find much difference. There is the same flat screen on the front so Motorola did not go for a curved screen this time on its flagship as it did last year. Now the reason for this could be the fact that last year's H series phones had some serious display issues. Users were reporting issues like green tint, blacked out and whited out displays, purple spots and more. This was definitely not good for a thousand dollar flagship. So this time Motorola has not taken any risks and hence the company went for a flat screen. Now it is still an OLED and that is why the fingerprint scanner is not on the side but rather under the display. We already know that this is a 6.67 inch 120Hz OLED with a Full HD Plus resolution. So this is definitely an upgrade over the 90Hz OLED of the Edge Plus of last year. On the back, the camera count and the camera placement remains the same as the Edge 20 but if you notice, one of the three cameras is in a square shape. The reason for this is that this camera has a periscope lens which gives you 5 times optical zoom. Now there was a zoom lens on last year's H Plus as well but it was a normal telephoto lens with 3 times optical zoom. Speaking of the other cameras on the H20 Pro, there is a 108 megapixel primary camera and a 16 megapixel ultra wide. So it is good to see Motorola not going for those macro and depth sensors. Now since it is a flagship phone, it comes with a flagship chipset. The chipset is Snapdragon 870 and not the Snapdragon 888 or 888 Plus. This is the same chipset which also powered this year's Motorola Edge S. In terms of the battery, it is now smaller than the last year's Edge Plus. So the Edge 20 Pro has a 4500mAh battery as compared to the 5000mAh battery of the Edge Plus. If we go by a previous leak, then the S20 Pro has a mono speaker and not a stereo speaker setup which is definitely a downgrade since the H Plus of last year had stereo speaker setup. Moreover, there is no longer a headphone jack on this phone and again, the last year's H Plus had one. So the Motorola S20 Pro is a quite confusing phone because there are some things that are better than last year's H Plus but there are also things that are worse. Anyways, what do you think of the S20 Pro? Do let me know via the comment section below and as always, I'll catch you in the next one.